Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? How the devil are we? Shanksy here, and today it's time to address the elephant in the room. It's time to talk about or to answer all the questions on Shanksy. Why are you playing so much raid at the moment? Let's talk about it, guys. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, boys and girls? How the devil are you? What is cooking, good looking, and all that jazz? Right. Wanted to talk about it. This is going to be a really weird video for me to make. I don't think I've ever made a video quite like this. So I'm going to do my best, guys. Uh, it's basically to address why I'm playing so much Raid Shadow Legends at the moment. What I enjoy about the game, you know. And because there seems to be a lot of, I don't know. A lot of hatred out there for it. There's a lot of like, oh, maybe it's the in-your-face advertising. Maybe it's not the advertising not doing quite what it says on the tin. You know, it's not exactly Ron Sell. That's a paint, by the way, whose slogan is. It does exactly what it says on the tin. So, maybe it's down to all that. Maybe it's down to some of the overpriced offers. There seems to be a lot of hatred for the game. And I really wanted to put my side across on a lot of you guys DMing me at the moment. Um, I'm going... Oh, well, it's all I see you play at the moment. And I'll put my hands up, guys. I'm really enjoying it. But let's talk about the evolution that got me here in the first place. So I originally picked up Raid for a sponsorship. Uh, I believe it was for a Twitch bounty. It was it was live stream Raid for like a couple of hours. They pay you some money. Um, maintain a certain viewership figure. And, and you get paid, right? Lovely. I do this with a lot of games. I do this very, very frequently. We do a lot of sponsored campaigns uh, on the channel. In fact, it is worth noting, guys. Yeah, it is worth noting that I am actually now signed up with Raid's content creator program. So that is one thing. I want to fully disclose that now, right now. I have signed up with Raid's content creator program. Uh, so I do get small benefits. There's nothing like they don't pay me or anything like that. Uh, and I can say whatever I like about them. So I'm not going to be lying to you about that or anything like that. And I am a member of uh, Blue Stacks. I'm an affiliate with Bluestacks. So I play all of my mobile games on Bluestacks, guys. There will be links down low, uh, down below for Bluestacks. And if you choose to download, I don't know, Marvel Strike Force and Bluestacks or Raid and Bluestacks, I would get paid for that. That is a part of my affiliate thing. But that is not a direct sponsorship for this game. I'm not being sponsored by this game at the moment. Although I do work with them uh, for for content creator program. I want full disclosure on that, right? But, so I originally picked this up for a Twitch bounty, played it for a couple of hours. It seemed all right. It seemed all right. I didn't love it. Didn't love it at all. Um, there were one too many pop-ups for me. Uh, I didn't really understand the game, right? I didn't really understand. There was just so much thrown at me at once. And sometimes when you're streaming a game for the first time for these bounties and stuff, it's actually quite hard to like sit there to read what you're meant to be doing, that type of thing, because you're trying to be entertaining at the same time, right? You don't want to just like go right. Uh, bu, 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 bu. That's how you kill that person. You know, you don't want that. You want to stay entertaining. You want to have fun with it. Uh, you you want it to flow a little bit. So you try to just play through the game, go through the motions, you know, have a laugh, and stay entertaining. That's that's basically my approach to live streaming. So, we picked it up for the bounty, but I didn't really I didn't really feel like there was anything crazy, right? And a lot of my community were like, wow, Shanks, I thought you were going to love that. And I was like, it was all right. I, 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 I don't get it, right? Then, we picked up another sponsorship for it, many months down the line. So, I've actually been playing Raid now for, let's have a little look. I've actually been playing Raid now for 101 days. But, for, the, let's say the first 30 of them... Well, for the initial sponsorship block, well, I signed in a couple of times, didn't really do anything. Sometimes I just signed in to get me signing bonus, you know what I mean? Like, that was literally it. Um, and then we picked it up for another sponsorship. So in my mind, I was like, yeah, sweet. This one was a download target. We had to hit a certain amount of downloads. Uh, the community came out in force, especially the, uh, the Twitch community came out in force, and we smashed our download target goals. Uh, but as I do for any type of campaign... I try and go above and beyond. I don't want to just do a two-hour stream or an hour stream or anything like that. I want to go above and beyond and put out as much content 
um, for that as I can, you know, in hopes of cultivating a good relationship with the sponsorships. So this might be boring you right now, but this is my journey, and I don't mean to bore you, I apologise. But in that second period of time, I fell in love. I absolutely fell in love with the game. Why, though, Shanks? Why? Right, let's start from the beginning. You know what? One of my biggest things in this is one of the best games that I've ever played. One of the purest games I've ever played. One of my like one of my first loves that I ever played was Diablo 2. Absolutely beautiful game, right? I love the mythical universe of it. I love that type of IP. None of these characters have got a crazy big IP behind them, you know? We're not looking at a game like Dead by Daylight or Marvel Strike Force where these guys are straight out of films or not. They're not. They're just beautifully, beautifully drawn. Sometimes really poorly named. Right? Sometimes really poorly named. But beautifully, beautifully animated uh, characters, right? All mythical as shit. I love it. Absolutely love it. You've got dwarves. You've got high elves. Um, you've got banner lords. You've got Night Revenant. All of these type of guys have their own feel to it. And I really, really like the artwork. On the flip side of that. Now, it's very, very difficult. And this game ain't perfect, guys. And we'll get into that in a bit as well. Don't worry. But on top of that is if I get a Whisper. This is a, this is my level 50 Whisper. She's two-star ascended at the moment. I've not done a lot with her. She was one of my very early on champions, right? So if you get a Whisper... And you build her up however you want to build her. See, so you, I've, I've got attack percentage gloves, HP chest, speed boots, and then defense. And I've gone for a speed set with lifesteal, right? This is my choice. These are my stats on my whisper. Yours will be totally different. You will never have the exact same build as I have. Due to your choices, due to the subsets of your gear, due to the way that you build your... Your whisper will always be different to mine. And I love that about the game. I love that type of freedom to min-max, to go real heavy on attack. Maybe you want to make a real tanky attack. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do with your resources, you do it. I've got a mate who's building up Bombardier. Who's, in my opinion, one of the worst characters in the game. But because my mate's a dickhead, he thinks it's funny. <laughs> like, you do... What you want to do. It's totally, totally fine. And I love that about the game. I love that diversity. You've then also got your masteries, which again, you build the way you want to do. So you, this is how long I put attack in. as flat attack as opposed to crit chance. Oh, idiots. You know, idiots. Let's, let's, let's reset that for free instantly. Instantly. But this is your choice on how you build these champions. And that type of diversity, I absolutely love. Now, this game isn't perfect, right? It isn't perfect. But there's also a lot of things to grind. You've got your campaign. You've got dungeons with different type of crazy boss mechanics. Like where you can battle through these levels. And at the end of this, you fight an absolutely massive dragon. That's awesome. And then one of my favorite features is these massive clan boss fights. That you participate with all your mates, all your clan and we smash in this big... Look at this, geezer. Look at this big mass... I'll cut the video because it will be a long fight. But look at this guy. This is the, This is an awesome little battle. Now, the one thing a lot of people don't like about the game is that it's very, very, like, auto. Right? A lot of people don't like the fact that you don't have to play it. You can just click auto, what I'm doing at the moment. Look, no hands. But, think about this like, championship manager. Think about this like one of them type of games where you set your teams up. Um, and then let them go out to do the work. And there can be a lot of min-maxing, guys. There can be a lot of going back and going, right, I need him three bits, three speed quicker than her. So he goes first because her ability won't. All this type of thing you want to think about. And it's, it's the beauty about that. For me, it's just it's just an awesome game. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Now, what don't I like about the game? I don't like the pricing structure. I feel like the uh, the loot box 
um, style, you know, to any game is always a very, very dangerous, dangerous road to go down. So I'm not a massive fan of that. I'll put my hands up. I think a lot of the offers can be overpriced. Some of them are good value in terms of other offers, but it's a mobile game. And I've type of made, I type of made some internal piece with that. It's like mobile games are double expensive, right? You're going to spend a lot of money on mobile games if you are a person that spends money on mobile games. Is this game free-to-play friendly? It can be, but I know it's super frustrating as a free-to-play. This isn't exactly... I wouldn't say this is pay to win, but I would say it's lucky to win. So where you can't farm out specific legendaries, where you can't target specific characters, you've got to get super, super lucky in the orbs that you get, in the shards that you get. When you open these shards, if you drop, I don't know, a, a, a top tier legendary... And you've not spent any money on the game. You're actually in miles better shape than someone that spent a one on the game and not got anything. So it's it's not pay to win. It's You've got to be lucky to win. There's a lot of min-maxing involved. Uh, the arena combat is absolutely superb, but needs to be looked at. Right? So when I first started the game, it was super frustrating. I couldn't really make any traction in the arena. And I actually thought about rage quitting the game because as a result of it. Now... That I've worked on my team. That I've, I've literally worked on a specific team. Just for Arena. It's probably one of my favourite game modes. You know. Absolutely probably one of my favourite game modes. Um, in, in terms of what I like to do with my time. I enjoy the big battles and stuff like that. And another problem. Is the end game. But. This won't affect a, a lot of us for a long time. A lot of the guys that I'm talking to that are frustrated with the game at the moment. And to be honest, you get this with Strike Force as well. Once your roster gets to a certain point, once the content's very, very easy to get through, you know, it type of goes, all right, what am I meant to do now? You know, what what am I doing type thing? And the guys that have wailed out hard, that have got crazy stacked rosters, that have put an insane amount of time in the game already, are running out of things to do. You know, so is it a complete game? Is there a crazy end game? Not yet, but I don't know. I don't really know if any mobile game has that type of crazy end game yet. Maybe, maybe some MOBAs, maybe, you know, like, um, no, sorry, not MOBAs. Maybe some MMOs or something. Maybe, I'm not sure. You know, I don't know if anyone's there yet with that. With that perfect endgame situation. I feel like there's always going to be people that progress at quicker rates. Burn through content quicker. And then moan when there's nothing to do. You know, it, it, I feel like that's the nature of the beast. I can't really think of a game that doesn't have that at the moment. But all in all, I think Raid's an absolutely great game. Yes, it can make changes. Yes, it could be cheaper. Hell, Marvel Strike Force could be cheaper. Star Wars Galaxy Heroes before that could have been cheaper. But they're not. They're not. That's the price structure they put. And the second one person pays it, five people pay it, and then ten people, and so on, and so on, and so on. And that's how they make their money, guys. It is the nature of the beast. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm really enjoying it. The adverts are not normally the game a lot of the time. And I feel like I feel like a lot of the hatred for this game comes from people not really understanding it or not really playing it, but having it in their face a lot on YouTube adverts, on TV. Hell, it's all over the place, right? It's all over the place. And I feel like a lot of the, the, the animosity for the game comes through that rather than anything else. Look at that. Look at that little, little gimme in the arena to finish it off. Um, but yeah, I've been super enjoying the game, guys. I intend to be making content uh, about this game for quite some time. Now, depending on how long uh, you followed my content for and stuff like that, and uh, a lot of the guys like will tell you this from from back in the day, we used to do a ton of, do a ton of Warframe content. We moved on. I'm not I'm not afraid to stop, start, and restart any other game. I type of go where where I fancy going. You know, I type of make content for what I fancy going. 
does that mean we're not going to make any Marvel Strike Force content anymore? Well, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Of course, I'm going to make Marvel Strike Force content because I still enjoy Marvel Strike Force. But I also enjoy Raid, right? So if you're interested in supporting the content, the stream, the YouTube, all that type of stuff, the links for Blue Stacks are down below. Uh, if you either install Raid or Marvel Strike Force through those links, I make some money. It's not a huge amount, but I make some dough and I super appreciate it. If not, totally understand. And if you only want to see Marvel Strike Force content, or you only want to see Raid content, or hell, you only want to see Warframe content, that's absolutely fine, guys. You know what? I super appreciate you watching whatever it is of my content that you want to watch. It's as simple as that. I appreciate you watching it. I hope it entertains you. I love your face. And if you don't want to watch certain bits that I'm making, that's okay. That's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> guys, that is it gonna, that's going to be it for me today. I hope I've addressed the elephant in the room. Um, and you know what? I hope after maybe showing you some of this, you might give it a go too. But if you don't, it's totally cool. Right, guys and girls, Discord links down below, live stream links down below, all that type of good stuff. But until next time, be smart, be strong, be safe. And I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy.